Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this video. As you come in, please like the video for me. To my new subscribers, I thank you greatly for subscribing to me. To my uh, regular subscribers, thank you for hanging in there with me and for sticking out with me during my process of trying to grow my channel. I appreciate the love and the prayers that you give me continuously. They are not uh, unappreciative, believe you me. I thank you for those, definitely. I uh, just wanna give a shout out to my father. Today is his birthday. He's made 83. Yay, and he's in his right mind today. The dementia's not uh, affecting him today, so we're having a good day, he and I together, uh, just celebrating his birthday and talking about things, you know, in our lives and family things and remembering things that were fun and good in our lives, so uh, it's a good feeling today, so. I'm gonna get straight to the video. Um, I hate to use the words that uh, Kwani always uses, but I have to, because in many cases, many of you guys, you're just, you're laughable. And in some cases, I almost want to say, I, I don't believe, but by the character that you've portrayed uh, and the characteristics that, that you've shown on YouTube, I believe it, I definitely believe it. Um, it's amazing to me how we have selective outrage and how we um, will sell our souls for the sake of popularity, acceptance, uh, money, etc. It's 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 just amazing to me that we will do that, and that we have no kind of moral compass or moral standards when it comes to ourselves or our lives or how we present ourselves on YouTube. Um, I'm addressing all of this, all of a sudden, all of this uh, anguish and all of the brokenness that's being portrayed on YouTube. Um, let me give you an example, and I'm just going to be honest and, and frank with you guys, and I might not get a lot, a lot of likes, but, you know, this is just my honest opinion. I'm going to start out with Wiley. Um... And for those of you who have been on YouTube and have followed him, sub to him, etc., need I say more? Need I say more? Um, again, with the selective outrage and uh, the selective anger and distancing himself from certain people, well, to me, that would be a blessing, uh, considering the source. Considering the source. Um, and, it, and many of you may need to go back and pull up some old videos. Uh, like I said, I've downloaded some in the past just because of the things people have said and I couldn't believe it. So it's, it's downloaded on my computer. Um, and I guess at that time, I didn't know why I did it or what I was doing it for. It was just, I was in disbelief of the content that was coming from particular people. So he was one of them. Um, because of one, one video I saw him where he was just broken and crying about the things they had been through, et cetera, et cetera. Then the next thing... Uh, Basically, like most people on here do, cussing people out and whatever, but placing so much emphasis on the evilness of the people that he now saying are, in essence, godlike or beautiful or Christian or uh, wonderful. And, you know, Five Babe uh, <laughs> went to his church. You got to be a bold person to go to somebody's church to, I don't know, expose them, uh, confront them, embarrass them, whatever. Um... He talked about how they called him all kind of names. He cried about that, uh, about the people that he went to Florida with, uh, some of them, and partied with or whatever. And that's really not the issue. But don't lose the essence of who you are because of the fact that you got together to try to make, I guess, you said make history. I don't see how that's history. Again, that shows in so many ways ignorance of people, I was thinking about that today, and I was thinking about my mama. Um, <laughs> she would always say, "Don't be ignorant." She said, "Even God said, don't be ignorant." Brethren, I would not have you ignorant. And so, for people who has a sound mind and a rational thinking mind, can agree with me if you so if you so speak that it's just odd. It's so odd when you're sitting back and you're watching. You're not in the mess or in the mix. You can see clearly now what's actually going on. Um, 
So it, it, it amazes me that all of a sudden, while he's on his moral compass, you know, that thing he pulls out, you know, because it's the click in a view, it's the coin, it's notoriety, it's anything to bring traffic to his channel or to his platform or to him. Um, but there's a, there's a little old saying, what a tangle where we weave when we first practice to deceive. Um, and I'm just going to say this from a standpoint of just being real, in essence. Um, nothing ever really just comes out of lies. And like I said in my last video, the Bible does say, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. So the weapons will be formed, I said that in, the, in my other video, and the weapons will come and they will... They will probably hit some things and, you know, hit some of us, but it still won't prosper. And for, it amazes me that the people who profess Christianity or pro, pro, uh, profess spirituality and have this connection with God and all this can go to the lowest of the lows, lowest of depths in order to be notarized, in order to be uh, monetized, in order to be accepted and in order to be the high whatever of YouTube. So that shows right there that your even your loyalty to the, your creator is not even there because you'll turn on him just to get a coin, just to get a click and just to get a view. Um, you forget Wiley when you catfished some people or a guy. You forget Wiley when you exposed some people. You got out here and cursed people out and you did all of this. And you forgot the stories that you told of the things that you have done on YouTube. And yet, you have this moral compass and you're so hurt by things that other people have said and done. And you've done much worse. But you can't seem to put your finger on the things that you've done. Um, we have to be accountable. The Bible says we have to be accountable. Work out your own soul salvation with fear and trembling. We have to be accountable for the things that we do and the things that we say. And you know what, whether it's Tracy, Kwani, Food Junkie, The Gov, QB, Fabe, uh, Get Into It With Goddess, love her. Boss Lady New Jersey, Lady Danica, uh, Gina Miss Queen of Talk, uh, Diamond Jewelry, uh, Lovely Love, what, whoever. See, there's no measuring stick when it comes to God and, and as far as individuals. See, all, it's only us that places that, that little stipulation on everything, but all have sinned all of us i have and have fallen short of the glory of god but and but many of us though the difference is that we recognize the fact that we have fallen and we have fallen short and then when we repented confessed and repented of those things then we went we didn't go back <laughs> to the old things that we were doing or we didn't stay in them or we didn't those things that we could deal with ourselves we worked on ourselves and we worked to be a better person, a better individual, a better Christian, a better spiritual person. But you will side while with the devil himself in order to make it yet proclaim the goodness of God. I'm telling you guys, and you guys think I'm lying. Again, I'm not this deep religious person. I don't confess to be. I don't profess to be. I have faults like many other people, but I don't play when it comes to God. And I asked myself many a times if I wanted to get into this particular arena, is it worth my soul? Is it worth me missing out on possibly the blessings that God has for me by getting into all this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then I think about, you know, while is one, I'm, I'm gonna get to others that's confessed how God has done this and done, and done this, but you show no support you show no honor and loyalty to god but it's to five babe it's to sean bradley because you came back and said all these wonderful things in spite of everything they done and said well i forgave them okay well if you forgave them why not you are uh, you're not forgiving everybody again selective selective and it doesn't take a person you know what i thought you know what my thing is i was thinking on it's not a matter of people being slow or dumb, or ignorant, or not really know what's going on. It's because within them, they have a hatred or dislike for another individual that whether the, what they see before you, what somebody else is saying is wrong or right, 
they accept it because they don't like the person that you're talking about. So it's all wonderful. I don't have a hatred for anybody on YouTube. Thank God. Um, and I really don't have a dislike to the point of it'll ruin my moral compass. But the character of the person and the things that they may do, I may dislike. But that's a given. So now you're on this moral compass and you're with, you know, Fi Baby is wonderful, Sean Bradley is wonderful. And it hadn't even been a year. It had, I would imagine it hadn't been months to when they were nothing to you. And to you and to them, you were nothing. But see, that's how the enemy works. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. The enemy, just like he did, if you believe in the Bible, I, I always throw the Bible in there. When Satan was uh, jealous of God, how that happened, I don't know, because God created the angels, and Satan Satan was the most beautiful angel of all. This Satan was the, the praiser, the angel that praised and gave God glory and honor and worshipped him. Isn't that amazing? That the one that God created to do that became jealous of him and turned on him. And what he did was he got other angels, and whether they were easily persuaded or not, they went along with Satan to become, because they wanted that little glory, and they wanted that praise, and they felt he shouldn't get all of that. Now, this is scripture. I'm like, you know, this is just scripture. I'm kind of breaking it down like that. So isn't that what you're doing, Wiley? Isn't that what you're doing? Um, and you can get on and cuss people out and become many different characters and say it's entertainment and say it's all that, which is great. I think people don't understand either. The entertainment is great, but you guys take it to a new level, a higher high than it should be. And then instead of you, well, I'm going to do this, but keep me out of, you know, your beef or your fight or your battle. You'll hook up just like the angels did with the devil, with Satan to go against God. You'll side with the person who's the evil ones and that you see trying to destroy and to kill and to steal. You become on that jump on that bandwagon and then now you are part of Satan's court. But it's funny to me that you guys always forget the things that you've done. And you can get on YouTube and say all day long, I have not done it. You, five babe. And I, YouTube stick out because YouTube proclaim or proclaimed spirituality, Christianity. You two did that. And you know your scriptures and she knows her scriptures, whether you're living them or abiding by them or not, you know them. And so you know that everything that you say, that you do, the pictures you post of your body and the catfishing and the stuff you did with Rico and anything that has been done, it's recorded. It's recorded, bro. So you can get on YouTube and make up any kind of narrative, any kind of lie, any kind of thing you want to make up. But you cannot fool God, bro. Are y'all crazy? You cannot fool God. You can get on here and lie on everybody that you want to lie on. God sees you. And I'll see it again. And I'll see it to my dying day, especially from what I've seen on YouTube. You people really don't believe. There is a God. You can quote scriptures and play like you speaking in tongues and play like you caught up and do all that playing. And let me tell you this, you better be careful because God says that he will forgive any sin that you commit except blas blasphemy or blaspheme against the Holy Ghost. Some of y'all playing a dangerous game and you don't you don't care because YouTube is more important. Uh, my connection with these other people is more important than my, my connection with my creator. That, that amazes me at the length that you all go to for YouTube. Uh, you know what? I'm going to stop saying that, that, that the length of you go to in life to succeed. When every time you see and every time you go back and look at it, those things you've done against certain people, it has not worked. It has backfired. It has failed. And eventually, you're going to fall. You're going to fall. Because of your motive, your intent. See, the thing is, God is getting sick of a lot of us uh, playing with him, playing with his name, and all this type of stuff. And like the Bible said, at some point, you're going to cry out to God. You say, you're going to need him. Believe me, Five babe and, and Wiley, Sean, uh, whoever else, me, 
we're going to need him if you believe he exists and if you believe he reigns supreme as the creator of the universe and everything that's before us. We're going to have to give an account for the lies you're telling even now on uh, YouTube to get garner sympathy and garner uh, likability with other people. I don't, for me, there's nothing in my personal life or in YouTube that'll make me turn to that extent or make me denounce verbally or physically where you can see me. God, nothing. I go through my things. People go through their things. We have fallouts with different people, but it's not worth me losing my soul. And most of you hadn't come to that revelation in your mind. And if it's something to build a channel or something to become known or become noticed, the thing that, another thing that's funny, I've, I'm subscribed to a lot of people, especially uh, cooking things and all the kind of stuff because I'm trying to learn how to cook different things since I have the time. Those people have 100,000, 1 million subscribers and they get uh, 40,000, 50,000, 100,000 viewers and 40,000 likes and all that kind of stuff. And they have not one time just by cooking being themselves and just by showing you a little food and how to prepare it they've superseded everybody that's in the beef sector and i'm not shading anybody i'm just being honest they have not succumbed to evil or to do the things dirty and underhanded to lie to defame someone's character to slander someone for the sake of becoming popular or the sake of gaining a coin off YouTube. They haven't done that. They've got on there with their flour, their milk, their eggs, their baking soda, baking powder, vanilla, if it is, steak, lobster. And they have garnered millions of subscribers, thousands and thousands of viewers. Channel is exploding. But yet this, you're in this little sector, in this little, this little corner over here, and you're not going anywhere. I mean, when you look at it, where are you going? Those people are growing and going. You know what goes viral? You know what has gone viral on YouTube uh, as far as people becoming famous? Cooking shows, Auntie Fee and some others. Uh, people dancing, doing dance things. You know, things of that nature, they've gone viral. People singing funny songs, they've gone viral. Nobody's gone viral uh, slandering, cussing out somebody lying on them, posting pictures of their dead parents, mothers, parents. Uh, none of them have gone viral. Um, and I, personally, I'll be so glad whenever this show, I, you know, if it's going to, if it airs, let it air, produce, produce. Because I am so overly sick of hearing about this show and this stardom and we're hating, we're jealous because you're gonna be famous. Okay, then didn't you go to Atlanta? And where are you now? You're basically the same place you were when you went to Atlanta, before and after. Now you've gone to Florida. What do you, what do you hope to be then? What do you hope to gain? What have you gained? Yeah, you've kind of joined sides again. Cause like uh, I've noticed, cause actually I've been on YouTube. I've been here nine years. I've actually been like a subscriber looking at different people videos, probably off and on, mm, about six or seven years. Hadn't decided to become a content creator or so for about a few months. But I've actually watched, never, I never chatted, never left a comment. I just watched different people and watched different videos. Uh, and people said, well, how do you know this? I said, because at the time I was watching, I downloaded the video and it was because in my mind, it's like, do you believe this person said that? Can you believe that person did that? So I download videos and I save them in different files on my other computer. I have two. One that I save all that stuff on because it takes up a lot of storage and the other ones, you know, just other stuff. But it, I laugh at it now because I can go back to when all of you, you, Fi, Sean, uh, even others. I won't leave Tracy out, Tracy. When y'all were kind of getting back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and doing different type of stuff. But you all, three of you at least, Fi Babe, you and Sean, you never do anything. You never say anything. You don't start anything. 
But there again, that proof is in the pudding, my brothers and my sister. The proof is there in the pudding. Uh, and I've got the, the mix, the pudding and the milk and everything already mixed in the refrigerator, hardening. <laughs> because you guys are laughable. Um, to, to think people, even in your, your own camp, Please are mentally slow. Or they're not fast enough to, to see the things and the shenanigans that you do. It's a, it's a sad, sad, sad commentary. And again, I say it's sad because you guys proclaim that you know Christ. You know Jesus. You know God. You're gifted. You're anointed. You speak in tongues. You do everything that a Holy Ghost feels, sanctified feel, woman or man of God is supposed to do outwardly. It's a shame. And then you've got Sean. And I guess at this point, I, I told you guys before, now I'll, I'll die until... He changes or God changes him. The most evil person on YouTube, a manipulator, a deceptor. And those are the marks of the demon. Those are the attributes of Satan himself. Yet, we want to flock to him and praise him and glorify him and uplift him in his evilness. You all need to do a reality check. And the first thing I would ask myself, do I really believe? That there's a God? Do I really believe that there's a creator of this universe who's higher and above who I am? Because I'm nothing but dirt and dust. And dirt and dust I shall return when I leave here, body-wise. You guys need to think about what you're doing and what you're saying and your motives behind doing it and the lies you tell to do it. And then those others that you're turning away from light into darkness for your own evil goods. It's disgusting and it's sad and I stand behind that um, I don't plan on doing it there are a lot of people that I support that other people don't like and they don't like people I support I don't get into all that that's between them and that person if so be it but Wiley, Fabe you know it's just amazing to me that you glorify the devil yet proclaim God don't you see that there's that there's a disconnect or are you so hungry for YouTube fame and you're so hungry to become YouTube whatever or to become just famous and whatever that it doesn't matter how you represent God or how you represent Christ and please quit saying you're making history <laughs> what kind of history are you making please explain that to your viewers or explain it to me what history are you making a bunch of black people going to somewhere out of state, going to rent a house or a motel, hotel, whatever, on there screaming, hollering, cussing, talking about people's dead relatives, you know, humping on each other. What history have you made? All you have done is solidified the stereotypical things that people say about us in general. That's all you did. Because you know what they said about us? They said we were savages. We couldn't be trained. We couldn't be this and we couldn't be that because we were savage. Isn't that, isn't that what you portrayed for the most part? Did, did you portray anything that, that represented light? Even you guys, if, if it wasn't, how, how I want to say it, manufactured. Even there, you guys fought. Two of you at least was fighting cussing. One is a spiritualist or a witch or something. And I don't know who the other person was, but even then... You were cussing each other out ready to fight. So it's like, when shall we see the light? And y'all can judge me. I don't care. I mean, and like I said, I don't, nothing really exciting about anything I do or don't do. My biggest thing is the, the, the health care welfare of my father. And so you can judge me and say I'm wrong. I'm not judging. I'm actually going by what I see and what I hear. That's it. I'm not passing judgment on anybody. But each one of us, including you who may watch this, Myself, my father, my mother, my aunt, my grandmother, cousins, we all have to give an account of the life that we've lived before God. And based on some of the things that most of you are doing or do, what an account that will be. Know that I love you, but God loves you so much more. You be blessed. Bye-bye. Oh. 
please like the video for me if you have not subscribed please subscribe to me i'm almost at a thousand i'm at 130 i need 130 or something but again i thank you for your help and assistance in that area and you be blessed bye bye